This one says one model aircraft, one battery, one propeller, and one model aircraft. Did they send me two? That would be cool. <laughs> Let's, uh... This is the Armor 85 HD for Maker Fire. Okay, we got some more. This should be props. Some... Oh, that's nice. They're deformed. Some of them are deformed. Like this one. I don't know if you can see that guy. Yes, as you can see from this guy, this one's really misshapen. Um, I'm not sure that's going to work on this at all. I'm going to have to figure out how I can like heat this up and hope I don't break it. It seems like it's pretty it seems like it's a pretty spongy uh, type of plastic. I might be able to bend these back into into shape, but you know, you can see some of like this is the worst one of them all. These other ones aren't that bad. This one this one's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. Looks like this one's about perfect though. And now finally, we have the Armor 85 HD. Well, that's kind of that that's kind of bad. What's happening here? Nice. This one's That one's got some tap to it. That one works. That one works. So aside from the whoops being misshapen, which seems to be which seems to be a production issue because even the replacements that I got are all misshapen and out of out of whack. So the only the only thing that I worry about with this with this whoop is that the camera is right here at the front. So when you're flying, when you run into something, you're running into it camera first. Literally, the first thing that's going to hit is going to be the camera. You're going to be tilted down like this. So if you're going to if you're down in the dirt, if you're doing this, getting some really you're going to be able to get some really low footage because this camera is, is going to be able you're going to be able to skim that camera on the ground, but the camera is going to be the first thing that's going to hit the ground. Let me, so the first thing we need to do is take the props off so that we can take the guards off. I'm thinking if I take my soldering, my field soldering gun here, if I take off the tip, that just becomes torch at that point. So I just need to heat this and misshape it a little. Make taking care to blow the hot away from my camera, away from the motor. Do not do that to your quad. Alright, that's better. It's still very close over here on this edge. That's what that's probably exactly what it was, is that these got heated up in shipping because they're they're flexible enough like this, but they they, they hold the rigid shape. As soon as you get them a little bit warm. They, they easily start to deform, but when they cool off, they get right back to their, their uh, rigid structure again. This support structure is touching the bottoms 
very trailing end of the blades is coming into contact with this little lip. So if I rotate this around, you'll see it catches on that. So I need to heat this up and pull this whole thing down. Just like that. The misshapen whoops that I would that I had are now right are now right as rain. So we got everything configured in here, went into beta flight, got everything configured the way that I wanted to. Um, I got it bound to my controller. Now time for the first first test of uh, powering it up. Let's see what happens. definitely tell we got to figure out another battery mounting solution because that's just kind of like no not happening if I'm gonna break this damn thing in fact I did break this damn thing trying to take the battery out broke it already damn damn it well we gotta pull that off so, I need to find a nice place and figure out how I'm going to do this. I can't, like, look, look at this. I can't, like, fit, fit this down into that area because th this is all too, this is all too small. Alright, let's see if we can't find a way to force this through this really small looking space right here. We're making progress. That needs to go through there. All right, well, it's not wanting to go through that, so. I found that if you come back here towards the back, there's a little more space back here than there is over here, on, at least on mine. I was able to slide it in there, and now this one, so I got it going through. Now what I want to do is I want to fish it underneath all these wires. All right, we got us a battery strap to put on there. It solves part of a problem. Next problem I have is that this XT30 connection is too short. Let's grab one of these. Let's grab one of these big fat ones. Fat boy. Yeah, man. This is a big fat battery. So that's on there. Can I can I reach my can I reach this one around? If this was like an inch longer, that would that would be much helpful. Because... All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for the unboxing of the Armor 85 HD. And I can hear you saying, "Well, what what's up with that?" Uh, well, I took it out for a maiden flight, and we ran into some issues. Check the link in the description. Happy flying, everyone.